you are now tuned in to the network, the YouTube channel that takes complex networking topics and dumbs it down to a more simple language. Today's topic is encryption. It's a topic in the CCNA exam. It's a subsection of 1.11 describe wireless principles. Let's go ahead and jump right into it and talk about what encryption is. Basically, encryption is a way of taking your data basically masking it and hiding it so that way people can't read it and hack into your systems really before we talk about why in, uh, encryption is important important let's talk about the difference between wired and wireless networks now you know obviously a wired network has you know is uh, all of the data is passed through you know physical cables wires ethernet and wireless all of the data is travel traveling through uh, electromagnetic signals or radio waves as you can see right here at the bottom but remember what I said in the past couple videos right but behind every wireless networks is a wire right so either way when you're on a wireless device eventually you'll get onto a wire but the thing is these ra wireless radio waves are traveling through free space which leaves your information susceptible to being uh, intercepted or eavesdropped or basically hat you look at this slide right here we got this user right here connected on Wi-Fi right when his information is not encrypted and he's got his uh, information traveling through these radio waves right to get to the web server we got this hacker right here on this red laptop because you know hackers their screensavers usually have a wet background with a skull and crossbones like that anyways he is sniffing this information using any kind of packet capture software like Wireshark and basically he can read you know usernames and passwords and stuff like that if your information is not encrypted Obviously somebody can take this information and use it to uh, use it to their advantage No bueno. So what is encryption official definition in cryptography encryption is the process of encoding information This process converts the original representation of the information known as plain text into an alternative form known as ciphertext. So basically, we take all the information that you got, use several different types of mathematical computations, chop it up, and send it over the internet. And once the receiver gets it, they have to decrypt it, and then they can see the information. You look at this slide right here. We got this sender right here with sending his plain text information. He encrypts it with, with with several types of there's several types of encryption uh, methods and we're gonna go over them in a little bit. That encryption key turns it into ciphertext. Ciphertext is again it's unreadable information. So now the information is encrypted. That's what VPNs do. Encrypts your information. There's several types of VPNs. We'll go over that in another video as well. Anyways, it gets transferred into ciphertext. Then it goes across the radio waves or, or even even on wired network. And then the recipient has to decrypt it. They will have a decrypting key. And then it turns into plain text in order for the recipient to read the information. Now, this is from sender to receiver. We're studying wireless. So in, in nine times out of 10 in a wireless networking infrastructure, you're going to have the sender on a laptop over here. He is going to be doing this with an AP. So this part right here is between the user and the laptop or client and the AP or access point. We talk about what access point. So I'll go back a couple videos and, and you know I, I do a whole video on what, a, what an access point is. So there's two types of Wi-Fi encryption. Really, there are several types, but there's two main types of encryption. But we can break down the second type. There's, as you can see in this picture right here, TKIP or TKIP and AES. Those are the two types of encryption. Now, we can break down AES even further on the types of encryption methods that uses AES, but there's TKIP as well. So TKIP stands for Temporal Key Integrity Protocol. It's a security protocol used in the IEEE 802.11 wireless networking standard. TKIP was designed by IEEE 802.11. Say that five times. Task Group and Wi-Fi Alliance is an interim solution to replace WEP without requiring replacement of legacy hardware. So basically, in short, WEP was a uh, wired equivalent privacy. Um, basically, uh, it was a wireless standard that it was easily hacked. So they came up with TKIP to basically uh, replace it because it was hacked, right? 
Now, there's several um, parts of TKIP that you may or may need to know for the CCN, uh, CCNA exam. I doubt you'll get questions on this, but these are the several features that TKIP uses. You know, there's temporal keys to defeat social engineering attacks, sequencing. So basically, it's kind of like TCP where they put numbers for each parts of the data and the information has to come to you in that order. Right. So you'll have part number, piece number one, piece number two, piece number three, or what, so on and so forth. And that's used uh, to defeat replay and injection attacks, as you can see, because otherwise people can record the information being passed across and then use that to hack into the system, right? That's called a replay attack. As you can see, I put here in the red, in bold, TKIP itself is no longer considered secure. So this is something, you know, we don't really want to break down, but it's something you do need to know if you're going to be taking the CCNA exam or CWMP exam. It was deprecated in the 2012 revision of the 802.11 standard, and and these are the different parts uh, or features of TKIP. There's also en enhanced data integrity, also known as MIC, which I believe is a message integrity check, I believe that's called. They, they call it Michael sometimes, to defeat beat flipping and forgery attacks, and uh, there's these other two measures as well. AES. Now, again, we said there's TCAP and AES. Now, AES can be broken down into two types. There's two types of protocol that uses AES, which is an encryption standard. AES counter mode, CBC, C Mac protocol. Now, there's so many acronyms with these encryptions, encryption algorithms. You may not need to know the, the mathematical computations behind these encryp encryption algorithms. I may be going too, a little too deep with the CCNA exam, but... Uh, the, this encryption algorithm was used in the 802.11i security protocol. It uses the AES block cipher. We're going to talk about the difference between a stream cipher and a block cipher, but restricts the key length to 128 bits. AES CCMP incorporates two sophisticated cryptographic techniques, counter mode and C CBC MAC, and adapts them to Ethernet frames to provide a robust security protocol between mobile client and access point. Remember, I talked about when we're encrypting, we're doing the encryption, encryption between the client and then access point, right? Again, this is part. Uh, this is a breakdown of uh, of the header of a uh, of a header um, being encrypted using AES. These are the different parts of the uh, CCMP function. Again, for packet number, mess, uh, MAC, which is a uh, message authentication code, and MIC, which is message integrity code. Sometimes they call MIC message integrity check. But anyways, uh, again, you don't really need to know too much about the algorithms for the CCNA exam. Just know that there's two types of AES algorithms, AES CCMP and this next one, AES GCMP. GCMP stands for Galloy Counter Mode Protocol. I hope I'm, not, I'm pronouncing that right. It's a robust, authenticated encryption suite that is more secure and efficient than CCMP. Not CCNP, but CCMP, not certification. GCMP and consists of Two algorithms, the AES counter mode encryption and Galloy message authentication code, which is used as a message integrity check. Again, you don't need to know too much about the algorithms. Just know that there's two types of encryption for AES, that's GCMP and CCMP. Now, the difference between stream ciphers and block ciphers, in short, the stream cipher is uh, a one that takes parts of the data, like one bit at a time, and then turns it into ciphertext. Block cipher is one in which a block of plain text is treated as a whole and used and is used to produce a cipher text block of equal length. So it takes a whole block of plain text, turns it into cipher text. Stream cipher does little by little by little by little. Nowadays, most of the encryption methods use block cipher. So that's two things you want to know too. Uh, they, you might not even get a question on this in the CCN, CCNA exam. So here's a comparison chart between the uh, different encryption uh, methods. We're going to talk about the different wireless standards in another video, you know, like such as WEP, WPA, WPA2, and WPA3. I'm sure you've seen it before if you've set up any kind of wireless router or anything like that. Again, those different wireless standards use different types of encryption methods. Notice in this chart, I didn't talk about RC4. Why? Because it's an old encryption method. It was easy to hack, easily hacked, so we didn't really talk about that. What we need to be concerned with is TKIP and AES. Now there's two types of AES, two types of standards that use AES. That's CCMP or two protocols rather, CCMP and GCMP. Again, these are the different types of uh, key sizes, right? The higher, the the more, the the higher size or mo modulus or key size it is, the stronger the encryption. 
right? And these are the uh, different types of ciphers. We talked about what a stream cipher and a block cipher is, right? And we're going to do another video on, on authentication. You know what authentication is. It's basically the password. Y'all know I like to keep it simple. So, you know, if you want to, you know, go ahead and pause this and freeze frame it and know the differences between TKIP, AES CCMP, and AES GCMP. And also uh, know that we encrypt our data using these types of methods. We're not going to do any hands on today. Uh, you know, this was just a quick rundown of what encryption is and the different types of encryption that's used in uh, different wireless standards today. That is my YouTube page. That is my Twitter handle. Go ahead and hit me with that like button. That helps me with uh, the YouTube algorithm and helps these videos get suggested more often. You know, if you like this video, please go ahead and leave a comment below. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. In other words, comment, like, subscribe to the network.